previously in Breaking Point. Aidan, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from Christian Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect? You give respect! That's how it works! How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, it's been one man at the centre of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Good to third, eight. What about Casper? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash? Butler's OK. Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> What was it like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today. Especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season. But Jackson might just be the man to do it. OK, Aidan. Nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Copy that. OK, the gap behind is 3.8 seconds.
gap to the car in front is 1.6 seconds. Okay, you're in the top 10. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 15.3 seconds. Heads come in to fit the mediums. Car ahead now running medium tyres. lap of the race, keep this up, well done. Okay, good work, great pass.
we see it, we're looking into it. Okay, I'm afraid you're going to have to retire the car, please, Aiden. Retire the car. Uh, you're joking! I'm sorry, Aiden. Pull over now, please. Pull over now. This is getting ridiculous. And that's agonizing for Jackson. Just a few laps left to go, and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. Oh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sports Aiden Jackson won't be seeing the chequered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts Devon Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me. All right, Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All OK, Aiden. Yeah, uh, how's Devon doing? Yeah, he's doing all right, mate. He looks like he's going to bring him some points for the team. Good for him. If it's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Knock, knock. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say, a shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson, that was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But uh, I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. 